the initial activation energy is Ea, which is the activation energy when the catalyst is not present in the reaction mixture. So as you can see, only these number of particles are there with energy greater than the activation energy. But when we add a catalyst, the activation energy is reduced. So now there are these many uh, number of molecules with energy greater than the activation energy. So the number of particles with energy greater than the activation energy has increased. And as a result, there are more successful collisions and more frequent collisions. Um, so the rate of reaction increases. Uh, uh, it's explained very clearly through this Boltzmann distribution curve. So we have done uh, the effect of all the factors on the rate of a reaction. Now let's talk a little about enzymes. So enzymes are biological catalysts. Now by biological catalysts, I mean they are present in living things. So for example, uh, we have uh, and, and enzymes are made of proteins. So for example, we have several enzymes in our body. Uh, like amylase, amylase breaks down sugar molecule, uh, breaks down starch into sugar molecules. So, uh, a catalyst, uh, so catalysts in a body which are enzymes, they carry out several functions such as that of amylase. And uh, so, uh, so enzymes specifically work in a different way than normal inorganic catalysts. Now, they work in a different way because a particular enzyme works only for a specific reaction and no other reactions. For example, a myelase will only work for the breakdown of starch into sugar molecules. No other reaction. Now, this is known as enzyme specificity and this diagram exactly explains what enzyme specificity is. It is called the lock and key mechanism. So, the enzyme has a specific shape, okay? It has a very distinct shape. Each enzyme has a very distinct shape. So it can only um, it can only get, uh, it can only take uh, substrate molecules which are starch in the case of amylase. So the enzyme is amylase and the substrate is starch. So it can only fit particular substrate molecules on its structure. So as you can see, uh, this sub substrate exactly fits into this enzyme. Now this is called a lock and key mechanism because only a specific shape of key can open a specific lock and that's why it's called a lock and key mechanism only a specific substrate can fit into the structure of the enzyme so first the substrate fits into the structure of the enzyme and it forms an enzyme substrate con uh, substrate complex this, this is called the es complex as well because enzyme substrate es complex so this is the es complex in this case and the enzyme breaks down the substrate. So as you can see, initially it was one big molecule. Now it has broken it down, broken it down into two molecules. So we get the products and these products leave the enzyme. So as you can see from this model, uh, enzyme, enzymes work for a very specific reaction. Now they don't really ask questions on enzyme specificity in the AS levels, but Sometimes you are asked to draw the lock and key model in the A-level exam papers. So now you will be able to draw the lock and key model. Now, uh, uh, two more characteristics of enzymes. So they are more efficient than inorganic catalysts, which means that they speed up reactions faster than inorganic catalysts. And uh, this efficiency is really high, really, really high. And an enzyme works in specific conditions like neutral pH and around body temperature. Now, obviously, they are in our body, so they can only work at that particular temperature. And uh, if the temperature goes too high, then these enzymes can get denatured. They can get destroyed. So once they get destroyed, they will not do the functions that they are carrying out. So this is the end of this uh, topic. It was a really short topic. It is a little longer in A-levels and the next playlist that I will be doing will be on A-level uh, A level reaction kinetics which will be dealing more with the mathematics of rates of reactions. So stay tuned and uh, please practice pa papers at gcguide.org. The link is in the description and you can email me your doubts 
at a level chemistry free at gmail.com the email id is also in the description thank you for watching